Uh, don't crawl in my mouth. Uh, his claws are so sharp. Strategus Alois, ox beetles. Here's the male here and take a look at his horns. Oh, he's just clinging with his sharp tarsal claws like these females here, clinging in my, in my flesh, in my skin. We've had a wonderful time and captured many, many beautiful and treasured beetles on this wonderful summer evening night. Summer evening night, yes, that made sense. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. And bonjour, as we are in the eastern woods of Louisiana. Now today, I'm light trapping for some very interesting and unique and large beetles. Today, I'm targeting ox beetles, which are a super large and strong species in the group Dynastidae and the true group Dynastinae. These are rhinoceros beetles, close relatives to the Hercules beetles. Now, we're in really good habitat for them. I'm hoping we'll find some. I'm hoping we'll find a few, and maybe we'll find some extra little hidden gems in this beautiful mixed forest. So, without further ado, let's get around, hurry up, and wait for our lovely light trap to attract some delectable insect oddities. Let's go. Take a look at this super interesting little Neuropteran. Whoa, a little net winged insect here. Looks to be a species of an owl fly. Close cousin to the antlion. Very cool, very interesting little insects. Well, what do you know? Look what all showed up under the light trap. Take a look, Strategus alois, ox beetles. Here's the male here and take a look at his horns. He's got two little horns on the pronotum, little nasal horn as well. Well, I guess I shouldn't say nasal, it's all the pronotum. Ooh, and he's got some lovely ladies. What are you doing? Come here. Look at that spectacular ox beetle bonanza. Now, as the name would suggest, these animals are incredibly strong. Being rhinoceros beetles, they can move surprising amounts of weight for their size. And they use this to their advantage. Like right now, he's just clinging with his sharp tarsal claws like these females here, clinging in my, in my flesh, in my skin. Is he gonna try and mate on my hand? Yikes, I hope not. But these beetles are super, super interesting. Just like the Hercules beetles, um, their larvae feed on decaying wood. And as adults, these are looking for, you know, kind of weeping holes in trees to maybe find some sap, but they'll also eat fruit juices and fruits readily in captivity. Oh, look at these. So far we've had actually three females show up, but one of them got away. And then we've got these two females here, which were still hanging around on the trap. Ooh, and this lovely, lovely male, but it's still early. So let's see how many beetles we can attract on this very night tonight. Whoa, look at all these. Should I put one on my face? Ah! Don't crawl on my mouth. Ah, his claws are so sharp. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ooh, it's like a six, six little thumbtack thumb pack jabbing into your skin with each little grip of his tarsal claws. Golly, look at that. Oh, all these lovely, lovely ox beetles. Beautiful, beautiful rhinoceros beetles native to the southeastern United States. Uh-oh, he fell. <laughs> Come here. This is where a thick exoskeleton does some good. No damage, but no damage. These beetles, not only strong physically, but strong externally, thanks to a very thick and protective exoskeleton. 
Let's see what else we can find. Another lovely little female ox beetle. We had one the other night and we were lucky enough to get one tonight. Look at her, she's all nasty looking. She must have been underground or in a log or something. Look at all that dirt all over her. Beautiful, beautiful, large size dynastid. Really cool. And of course, you always have to have that resident Luna moth show up at the light trap. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, perfectly intact, fresh, adult Luna moth. Beautiful female. Take a look at the difference between these two little male Lucanus capriolus reddish brown stag beetles that we had show up. Look at this tiny minor male in comparison to this regular or major sized male, I should say. Look at this. He's like twice the size. Good luck breeding this year, buddy. Look at that. That's an impressive size difference. This is almost no bigger than a June bug. Easy. I got the snot beaten out of me the other night by one of these, well, three at the same time, I should say. I was holding them all, they all started getting agitated and they all pinched me. So I don't want that to happen again, so I've got them on separate hands this time. But look at the difference, size-wise, that's pretty wild. Really interesting, really cool little stag beetles. If you're interested in learning more about these cool little reddish-brown stag beetles, pop over to that other video, which should be out before this one, I think. But really, really cool reddish-brown stag beetles. Always love seeing stag beetles in the wild. Well, we've had a wonderful time and captured many, many beautiful and treasured beetles on this wonderful summer evening night. Summer evening night, yes, that made sense. So, it is time for us to shut down the light trap and to say au revoir to the lovely state of Louisiana, as this is sadly our last night. We're on the long trek home back to the Lone Star State in the morning, but we have really enjoyed everything Louisiana has to offer, including these awesome, awesome little ox beetles. Really cool adventure. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, buy the new merchandise, join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future episodes of Jack's World of Wildlife, and take it easy. Because what is life without a little life? You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to tune in to the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.